welcome to Capital Drama Club. This is a web series in which we're trying to create a sense of togetherness after all the cancellations that came with the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, and we're trying to create a platform for local students to talk about all the work they've put into their shows and productions that sadly might not be able to be performed now. Uh, before we start, we wanna thank our friends at Storied Coffee for always supporting our drama club. My name is Sophia Benny, and I'm the president of Scotia Thumbbell Drama Club. And for our first episode, we have Elena Murdoch and TJ McMaster, who played Gabriella and Troy in Scotia Glenville's production of High School Musical. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, good. good. How about you? I'm pretty good. Um, so let's get right into it. What do you tell us a bit about your characters in High School Musical, Elena? Okay, so Gabriella is very shy in the beginning of High School Musical, but as the show goes on and she starts to meet some new friends and kind of see how the school runs, she starts to break out of her shell a little bit. She kind of accidentally auditions for the musical, but it ends up being a really good experience for her and they kind of help the school get rid of their cliques. Yeah. TJ? Um, I would say Troy is like, a, in the beginning, he's a stereotypical jock, um, but he <laughs> uh, he had a New Year's party, met Gabriella, and they sung together, which sparked his love for music and singing. So when he met her at, at school, um, he he acted like this totally different person, that stereotypical jock. And and when she was going to audition, she needed him to audition. So he stepped up to the plate, and that kind of changed who he was as a person. Like he 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 became like a better person, a uh, better soon to be boyfriend for her, and he started to love music more. And his influence in the school uh, kind of caused everyone to go haywire and made every mm -hmm. like all the clicks just explode and everything, you know. Hence the mm -hmm. theme of this show. So. Yeah. Um, what were your favorite and least favorite parts about the whole rehearsal process? Um, I think my favorite part was like adding details to the scenes once we were kind of memorized in terms of the structure. So like adding character choices and just knowing what your character was going to do in each scene. But also I really love getting costumes and makeup because it just helps you get into character a lot better, which unfortunately we didn't get to do that very much in the show, but maybe in the future. Yeah, yeah. Uh, TJ, what about you? Uh, my favorite, I would say it was when I was first like really getting into the character and and I was like relating to him. I was I was getting into these scenes like, like really getting into it. Like there's this one scene where I get into a fight with my dad, Coach Bolton, and I was like really getting into it. I was getting heated. And I just, I love when that happens, that chemistry on stage. It's really fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's like really tiring about all of this? Definitely when you're like at the end of the week, still learning some of the songs and you just have to run them like 10 times over and you just feel like you can't get it right. But all the work is important and it does pay off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I would personally say the work that we put in is <clears throat> personally like very emotionally, mentally tiring because it, there's just so much. Um, just all the blocking, lines, acting, dances, singing, etc. Um, and it just it takes a toll on you, especially like if you're not getting it right and like it might upset you. It just it sucks. <laughs> but, but it's all worth it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> so, um, would you guys say that um, East High is anything like real high school? There are definitely similarities. I think high schools can have cliques, but I also think that they're different because, like, I know a lot of my friends and me personally, we go to different cliques. I would be considered a brainiac and a music kid. I know people who do sports, music, art, all of it. So they're mm -hmm. definitely different. Yeah. Um, cliques <laughs> exist, you know, like people have friend groups, but... I would say in real life, they're way more mixed. Like, absolutely. Like, I, mm -hmm. I used to play all these different sports, basketball, football, et cetera. Um, but I was also, I'm, I've always been really big into academics. Um, and, you know, obviously yeah. like, I've always been a huge music kid too. So. Um, okay. So what is the worst like mess up or mishap or thing that's gone wrong for you in your years of theater? Uh, luckily, I don't have any, like, stage mishaps during shows that I can think of, knock on wood, <clears throat> but I know I've definitely had some interesting costume experiences, at least in rehearsals. So when I was in Lion King in middle school, uh, we had this 
costume as wildebeests that was basically a bodysuit and most people in the cast had a cover to go over the bodysuit because it was skin tight and not that flattering and um <laughs> unfortunately my friend and I did not get the oh. cover they didn't have enough and so for this one rehearsal we had to go on stage in just the bodysuit and it was really uncomfortable for everyone right. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry DJ yeah. what about you um yeah mine is also actually a, a costume mishap so I, I do community theater as well uh not so common players at Clifton Park and Slock and Schenectady um and when I was doing nine to five at Slock um, in one of our rehearsals, I was going to do a lift with our Violet, where it was like a cheerleader lift where like I had to like put my arms like this, squat down and like pick her up with another guy. Um, and when I squatted down during lift call, my pants ripped all the way down the middle <laughs> and, and everyone saw it. Um, luckily, I'm, I, I'm kind of a, a joker in that sense. So I, I found it hilarious. Um, <laughs> So that sounds really funny. It's more funny than uh, than embarrassing, but it was still mm -hmm. one of my most embarrassing moments ever. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, all right, so we're gonna play a game now, and I'm gonna give you like a line, and then with a blank, and you're gonna fill in the first thing that comes to your head. So, Elena, your first audition song was "Part of Your World." TJ, your least favorite song in High School Musical is. I uh, can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> Elena, the cringiest line in High School Musical is, Yo, doggy Troy, my hoops boy. Yes. <laughs> TJ, your favorite cast album to listen to is? Ooh, um, something old and jazzy, like the Jazzy Chabron or Chicago, maybe. Oh, well, if you like Chicago, next week, we're going to be sitting down with Scout and Emery from Shaker High School, and they're supposed to be doing a production of Chicago at their school so we'll get to talk to them a bit about that so that'll be yeah. really interesting so thank you guys for coming and for having this virtual interview and um be sure to check out our Instagram at Scotia Bumble Drama and stay tuned for upcoming episodes all right bye <laughs> <laughs>